Welcome to Bocas del Toro in the country of Panama, where the beautiful oceans are full of life. With the banana plantations and all the fertilizer nutrients flowing into the ocean, everything is thriving. With increased nutrient loading from land, algae grows faster than ever, feeding more and more bacteria which is consuming oxygen. Unfortunately, without sufficient oxygen, some of the coral reefs in the beautiful waters of Panama look like this, instead of this. Do you see these fish here? They require some sort of habitat. So a group of student researchers went out to investigate how habitats of certain fish shift due to negative changes in the coral reef. Let's take a look and see what they did. With our quadrats and transects, we were able to count the amount of fish on the reef, what types of habitats Nigel, Justin, Rodney, and Jesse live under, and what types of organisms make up the coral reefs, such as hard coral, soft coral, sponges, algae, or sand. This can help us figure out if our fish friends have moved or changed habitat due to the bleaching or loss of coral. One of our findings showed that damselfish like Jesse the Three Spot were found on branching corals when there are lots of branching corals at the reef site like CK14. But when there weren't any branching corals like at Punta Caracol, Jesse was found on mounding corals. With the shift in different types of corals, these Three Spot damselfish found new niches to live and defend. Now we don't have sufficient data to make big conclusions about these reefs and the fishes, but it is important to know that humans have a great effect on how ecosystems like coral reefs function. So what can you do at home to help our fish friends? One, try to walk or bike to places so you reduce your car and fuel use. Two, limit the amount of chemicals you use on your lawn or in your gardens. Three, support sustainable rules and regulations in your community so we have a bright and colorful future for our reefs and our earth. If you would like to learn more about hypoxia, nutrient loading, coral bleaching, and how you can help in your community, visit NOAA.gov for more helpful tips.